All right, here we go. Welcome to this Touch Designer beginner course. My name is Biliam, and I'm going to just start this by introducing myself a bit, and then I'm going to talk about um, how I learned, why why I'm doing this, who this is for, and what you're going to need, and what we're going to do. All right, so um, uh, yeah, as I said, my name is Biliam. My online online name is Electronaut. And uh, I'm 24 years old, and I I was born and raised in Berlin, and I still live here. Um, so my native uh, language isn't English; it's actually German, just so you know. And um, I'm currently still studying interaction design. Where I'm more, I'm basically kind of finished. I'm uh, doing my bachelor project right now, and I'm kind of in the transitions in the transition of being a. Um, a student and being a something else, whatever that's gonna be, and um, yeah, I so so I kind of come from a design background, though I've uh, been coding with the web for quite some time, and also I've uh, I've worked with processing before uh, Touch Designer, and um, I've started uh, I started Touch Designer like a year ago, so uh, in March two thousand and nineteen. And um, I myself learned completely through <coughs> tutorials uh, and um, just experimenting on my own. So, yeah, this is what I always uh, tell my, like, say in my tutorials that I just encourage you to to experiment and try out new things in this in this touch designer world. And and that's kind of how how I learned as well. <coughs> um, so why am I actually doing this course? Why am I recording this? So mostly it's really a lot of fun for me to, to record videos and to teach other people and, and just, um, I don't know, do some bad jokes as well. And um, also uh, I'm learning a lot through this myself. So uh, because I have to explain it, that means I have to understand it, uh, at least to some degree. Um, but you know, just just gonna say that here. I'm I'm not a professional. I'm I would say I'm an intermediate, uh, and I'm still learning. I guess you can always keep learning with this software uh, or this programming environment. Um, and uh, yeah, so also there's some lovely kind of people supporting me on Patreon now. So I'm actually kind of getting paid for this, and that's fantastic as well. So. <coughs> What are you gonna need for this? Or no, who's who's this like for? Um, I'm I'm doing this course, so uh, this this software or this tool is becoming a bit more accessible to anyone. So I'm kind I kind of I don't want this to be for coders only or experienced programmers. So if you're if you've never really worked with uh, programming, that's that's totally cool. Um, you you might have a you might have a, a background in animation that's that would be great as well or like generally 3D model modeling um, maybe you've worked with web development so like HTML CSS or uh, even JavaScript or any kind of programming language it's also great if you've worked with um, Ableton or other um, music software um, I myself have done that and that's definitely greatly helped as well. Um, so generally, you don't need to have any kind of experience in that field. It's just going to make uh, some things easier and some concepts faster to understand. But I'm I'm going to try to to kind of m make this okay to watch <laughs> and learn uh, for for pretty much anyone. So obviously, you you do need to have some kind of idea how a PC works and um, how you operate a PC. So that's kind of obvious, I think. Um, also, uh, what you're going to need is uh, some kind of PC or Mac. I, I generally myself like working with PCs more than Mac. Um, but Touch Designer also works a bit better on PCs, I would personally say. Um, not personally say, I don't actually know because <laughs> I don't have a Mac. <laughs> but I think it's better to have a PC in this case. Um, also, um, you can check out the specs, like the the system requirements uh, that you're gonna need on the website, on Derivative CA website. Um, what you're definitely gonna need, uh, though, uh, either on a Mac or a PC, is a mouse, because you're gonna need a mouse wheel as well. So, 
it's highly recommended having a mouse um, so what are we gonna do in this series um, I'm gonna teach you how to how to work with touch designer and uh, we're gonna start with uh, just me explaining you a bit how how to actually like know what, what touch designer actually is um, and uh, how it works kind of uh, like the basics, the fundamentals, uh, how to download it, and I'm going to go over the interface here. Um, we're going to look at uh, the different operator families. So there's different types of operators uh, in this program. As you can, there's free ones you can see here. Um, also, there uh, we're going to go into every different operator type or so-called family uh, in more detail. And uh, later we're going to work with a bit more advanced stuff like uh, working with audio and um, a technique called instancing. Uh, that's that's very powerful and often used. And we're also going to maybe look at widgets and building a simple UI. And at the end we're going to get into some things like um, uh, preferences, debugging, and that's that kind of stuff. All right, so um, I, I just want to show you one thing here. Um, before we uh, end this introduction video, video, and that's this glossary. So um, there is a glossary <laughs> um, which has all the uh, or most of the words used in inside of Touch Designer that I'm also going to use a lot uh, explained here. So I'm going to link that in the description. If you don't understand something that I'm saying, uh, hopefully you can find it here and uh, look that up and then maybe understand what, I, what I'm saying. All right, so I, um, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to, to having this journey with you, whoever you are. And um, I hope I can, I can like, yeah, make this a bit more accessible. And it's, it's really quite overwhelming in the beginning. And I, I just kind of want to like, this is kind of, I'm, I'm kind of doing this because this is the kind of thing that I'm, I was looking for in the beginning, to just somebody walking you through the basics. So this is just kind of what I'm doing now. So yeah, let's uh, dive into this.